Doctor, what are your typical success rates with prolotherapy? I tell my patients that if they go through pr prolotherapy, there's an 80 to 85 percent chance that they'll get at least a 50 percent reduction in pain. And some people get complete pain relief. Doctor, can you give me some specific examples of injuries that athletes have endured and how prolotherapy has worked for them? Sure. I had a professional hockey player who had a groin injury. He couldn't play hockey for six months. He came to me, was treated with prolotherapy. He gave me a call last week. Now he's fine. He's back skating for a professional hockey team. Pe tennis players who have tennis elbow, chronic p elbow pain, are successfully treated with prolotherapy. People have partial rotator cuff tears, football players, athletes. They're all successfully treated with prolotherapy. I've had a strong man uh, who had plantar fasciitis. People come to me with this. Again, they're successfully treated with prolotherapy. So there's many different ligaments in your body that have aches and pains. One of the most common one is a sacroiliac instability. People think that they have a disc problem, but it's re not really a disc problem. They have pain on the sides of their back. They have difficulty getting up in the morning out of bed. It's chronic pain. I treat them with prolotherapy. Their pain is reduced and sometimes completely resolved. So we know when prolotherapy works, but when is it maybe not the best treatment? That's a good question. Some people are not cured with prolotherapy. These are usually people that are smokers, that have autoimmune disease or in poor general health. But if you're healthy and live a healthy lifestyle, prolotherapy is very successful. Now, I have to ask, do the injections hurt and how many are required? Yes, I'm sorry to say the injections do hurt, but only for a short period of time. I use a solution of 50% dextrose with some lidocaine. So approximately three or four minutes after the injection, the pain goes away couple of hours later when the local anesthesia wears off, you will have increased pain and it may last for a day or two, but then that will subside. Usually I give anywhere from three to five injections, depending on the response of the patient. I give one each injection each week for three to five weeks. Then I wait six to eight weeks to see if we've caused the tissue to repair and the pain should go away if not completely, at least by 80 or 90 percent. And how many are typically used uh, in a series of treatments? Well, depending on the area that I have to inject. If you have a large in, uh, area, like, say like in the sacroiliac area, I may have to do three or four injections that day to cover the whole area. But usually the injections are spread out, one each week for three to five weeks. If you miss a week because you happen to be out of town, it's not important. As long as we keep the inflammatory reaction going, eventually the tissue is going to heal and your pain will go away.